that's a good way to level right there, let me tell ya. Ooh, yeah, that's a whole bunch of ammo too. 80 with the gun skill, and 34 with the survival skill. We're making our way. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to have a maxed out gun skill, I tell you. I tell ya. Alright, oh there's Jason, and we have a couple of other things in here for me to loot. And it doesn't count as stealing. We've got a spacesuit. I think we might actually end up using the spacesuit just for a little uh, radiation walk portion. <laughs> ah, thank you for carrying everything, Eddie, my, my levitating mule. You gotta carefully, carefully grab these off the workbench. Um, and this is this is the access point they use, I think, to get down to the launch pad area down there. All right, Jason. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. Our preparations are nearly complete. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Alright. And there we go. Jason Bright. Going to the yeah, going to a little little hatch right there. I wish we could use that to go down there real quick. But, hey. I guess not. Hey, what's up, Chris? You not ghoul ghoul. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of Isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. I'll find you them control modules. All right. Anything else? Time to head out. Bye. Wow, he really, really has a bit of a tone with me, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, finally time to go and leave and find some goodies. Find them there doohickeys to get ourselves uh, set up to help. Uh, uh, can we get up here? Can we get up here? Uh, uh, uh. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to... Skip the area. We're gonna skip the whole the whole climbing scenario. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I saved myself about four seconds <laughs> All right, what would you need for a sniper build? Somebody asks in the comments section Maybe you guys can help out in the comments as well. Somebody is asking for help with a sniper build probably in Fallout New Vegas I I would like to assume um, What I would recommend is high agility and high luck that's that's probably what you want your starting point to be. So around seven, eight, nine of each, um, something along those lines. Oh, we got we got ghouls. Ghouls are back. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I wanted to let you know that uh, in New Vegas, perception doesn't really play a part, except for when it comes to perks. So if you want to get yourself some some perks that help with vats and stuff like that, like the sniper perk, you're going to want a higher perception. But in general, what helps your accuracy the most is your skills rather than perception. Um, so if if you don't if you don't really care about getting the particular like accuracy based uh, vats based um, perks, then you don't have to worry about perception as much. Uh, I think the most the most that helps you out with is detecting things on the radar um, down below. Well, the the compass that is. I'm I'm glad that, that these ghouls actually spawn. I, it gave me something to do. I like that. I just wasted my slugs too. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we made we made some extra thir uh, three ot three ot buck. Is that is that what it's called? Did I ever? Look up here and and check this out. I, I don't know what what else I would suggest for a sniper build. I am all over the place today. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Just started a new session. Um, had a lot of plans, uh, content wise today. Uh, you may notice uh, probably when this episode goes up that I did go back and redo the thumbnails for the Fallout Three guides. Um, it, it's about time that they had a little. A little do-over for for some of the stuff. Um, I wasn't gonna do the whole video again or redub them or anything like that, like the Stones of Baron's Eye guide. But uh, I, I figured it was about time. And uh, a lot of my older guides don't have any tags, <laughs> or didn't have any tags. So I'm hoping in a way to make things more relevant too, in that sense. 
So we'll see how it goes. Uh, when you when you change your metadata like that, it usually takes, uh, from what I was hearing, like a week or something like that for for YouTube to pick up on it. But let's let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, is this pure water here? Is this is this pure? No, it is not. No, it is not. We're not gonna drink from that. Um, I I rarely explore this side of of Novak. We're gonna we're gonna look around here a little bit. We're gonna see see what we can find. Okay, so we got a we got a broken pylon here. Uh, let's see some some dark grass. I don't I don't know if there's anything actually over here. I just don't think I've ever really looked around here very much at all. Um, somebody else was asking if I'll be playing some of the DLCs. Actually, several of you. Was it like four? Four at least. <laughs> at least it's a pretty popular question. Uh, yes, I do plan on playing the DLCs. Uh, if you saw last a couple episodes ago, I think I had mentioned it before. Um, I do want to do one of the DLCs. I I don't I don't know which yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is this may be something I've never seen, or or seen very few times. What? There's a little campsite here. This is an unmarked location. I I don't think I knew about this place. Yeah, so northwest of Novak, along the cliffs. If you guys check this place out, you got a little campfire here, okay? And a snow shovel, and some bottles, and a first aid box attached to some metal boxes. Got some more 20 gauge rounds, that's kind of nice. A little bed. Interesting! Very interesting. This is really cool. I... <laughs> this... <laughs> Games like this always surprise me in that sense. Like you'll you'll come back to it and you'll be like, I don't think I've ever seen this before, and I, that that just happened. <laughs> I I combed over this game pretty pretty hardcore, I would say, and I'm still I'm still seeing cool man, man open open world games are so cool. <laughs> That's probably why I enjoy covering them so much, right? And and we enjoy playing them. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I can't, I can't tell you what, what DLCs I want to play. Maybe all of them. Wow, this is a fun glitch here. Can we just go through? Can we just go through here? No? No? Wow. Wow! That cliff's not supposed to do that. Okay, we're supposed to go to the junkyard. We're just about there. Old Lady Gibson is her name. And she has a unique weapon on her as well. Uh, called the Big Boomer. But I don't think, I don't think I want it. I don't think I need it. In this case, because I do, I do have the caravan shotgun that does the trick for most things, and then I also have that gun, which which you know works out for the rest of things. Um, but what? I'm I'm not entirely sure. I do want to get the, the long carabine though. I do want to get that one. Hi there, I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. You probably saw the quest for Eddie come up there too. That's this is that's where the quest triggers. All right. Uh, do you have thrust control modules? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Here you are. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, we got the thrust control modules. That's what we needed. Um, and we need to get something else. <laughs> and I know exactly where to go to get it. It's a, uh, what, what do you call that? The, the igniting agent, right? And there's a couple of places to get it. One of them is the, uh, the rocket, the little model rockets that glow. Or uh, you can go over to this waste site or waste disposal site and get it over there which is what I'm going to do instead I like the multiple options here I believe we could have just killed old lady Gibson for them too but you know she's a kindly old lady she's just trying to make her way she's a scavenger I can understand that she's probably done some done some things that she's not proud of either with that big boomer <laughs> or something like that I think you can come back to her for a quest um, for for a, a brain for Rex as well. I may have adjusted the draw distance a little too short because <laughs> things are flickering really weird, um, and I apologize for that. 
we're still we're still enjoying ourselves i think i think what would you think of a new vegas remastering or possibly sequel would you prefer one over the other i would go for remaster myself um i have no i have no need uh for a se i think i'd answer that question earlier i have no need for a sequel really what do you guys think i would you be into a new vegas remaster i mean there's there's a mod thing happening already which is awesome wow this gun is ridiculous <laughs> subject e diagnosis complete begin recording my name is whitley I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the DiraFrame reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Adams Air Force Base. That's in D.C. That's where the East Coast Enclave is. All right, continue. iBot DiraFrame Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all DiraFrame assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. All right, so this, this iBot was sent to the west coast, uh, the Navarro base of the Enclave. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. And there's apparently a, a base in Chicago too? That's a nice setup. That is a nice setup, canonically. I forgot about that, actually, that there was an Enclave base in, uh, in Chicago. Or Maybe, maybe it's not even mentioned, really, anywhere else. All right, Isotope 239 Igniting Agent. There it is. Mr. Radical's journal. And a bottle cap. And a radiation suit. Do we need a radiation suit? I don't know if we do. I don't know if we do. What I do want to do, though, is score some pot shots on these Gecko while we have the jump on them. And maybe see about... Do we have some mines? We could set some mines. Protect ourselves a little bit. Okay, you can tell that's that's pretty rated. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a blast. <laughs> In more ways than one. Oh, wrecked. <laughs> Come on over. Come on over, Gecko. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, it totally avoided my mines. Okay. Well, good thing it's uh, getting completely destroyed by us. Oh, we got more coming. Oh boy. No, 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 don't switch ammo. Stop that. There we go. That's what's up. I feel like I'm doing a lot more damage with the pistol instead. I feel like that's what's happening. Okay, so I do have plenty of anti-rad meds to hang out up here and take care of the rest of the gecko. What just exploded? I was just using hollow points, but what just, something just exploded. Okay, to replay that if necessary. <laughs> that was a slow-mo. Weird. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take some radix. And probably some radaway on our way out. But these mines were not effective at all. So let's grab them all again, and save them for later. Yeah, I don't think there was anybody anybody else, or if there is... No, EDE would have spotted them. It's all good. We're good here now. And I think there's a couple of spots to loot here too, actually. Which would be really cool. Have a little bit of Rad X, make sure our radiation intake isn't too ridiculous. Radiculous. <laughs> uh, gotta get the dad humor in there, right? <laughs> or the puns. A couple of puns here and there. This wouldn't be a Kato Genesis Let's Play if we didn't have any puns. Gotta work on it more often. I think we need a little, little bit of extra influence. What's what's your best pun? What, give, me, give me a Fallout-related pun, if you guys can think of any. Something about the equipment I have, or... The situations we find ourselves in, or something to do with the Mojave. Hmm. There's plenty of material to work with, I think. Out of all the locations in New Vegas, which do you like the most? Uh, and bouncing the question back to all of you, also, as per the usual, uh, I don't... 
I don't know if I have a favorite location in New Vegas. In the vanilla game? Hmm. That's a that's a really good question. I kind of like the the strip. I like the strip because there's a lot going on there. Uh, it's a very densely packed area with with a whole bunch of just things and people to interact with. I think I would like to go with that. Uh, probably the New Vegas Strip. I'm sure there's a couple of areas outside that I, I like too. Like out in the desert and stuff like that. But I think I'll stick to the New Vegas Strip, yeah. Just just because there, there's just a sheer amount, the volume of things that you can do. Um, oh, we, we got some... There's some raiders over here too we could probably take care of. Are they all hanging out inside? No, they're not. Okay. Let's see what we can do to thin their numbers a little bit. I want to see what I can do here. Taking out the trash we are. That's what the cowboy does. You darn tootin'. <laughs> oh yeah. He ain't going nowhere no how. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of auto aim going on it feels like. Wow, she just caught on fire. That's cool. They still don't see me. My uh my sneak skills not that high. But they still do not see me. That's a little little bit of a little bit of a cheat if you guys didn't know also. Kind of a little bit of an exploit. If you bring up vats and then zoom out, it centers your view on them. So if they're not moving, then you'll get plenty of shots in. Okay, that was that was the most well armored Viper. I feel like we're being kind of cheap here. Maybe we should run in there. Hey, you stop right there, you varmint. <laughs> I'm the law of these parts. I'm here to take you in. In pieces if I have to. Huh? Huh? Come on now. Ow. No. Ooh. <laughs> Off with her head. <laughs> oh. A floating bush. Hmm. Must be a mutant. Must be a mutant bush. Alright. Wow, we got set up. With some loot here. Alright, we found just about everything we could loot here. There is a star bottle cap here. I found that that's easier to aim down the sides of your gun. If you don't have the reticle set to on, which I don't usually. Uh, just to make it a little more, a little more challenging, right? Uh, and and it makes for better, way better screenshots. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, I just tend to, you know, take screen caps off of the footage that I take for for the thumbnails. I don't like having a a, a crosshair in the way, so I, I that's part of the reason why I do it. But also, you know, for the fun, for the fun, the extra challenge and all that good stuff. Oh my goodness. Uh, the, out of all the locations in New Vegas, question, uh, what about the DLCs? What are you guys' favorite DLC locations? I enjoy uh, Zion Canyon. Zion Canyon is very pretty, and it's I think it's the only place in New Vegas, vanilla, um, or without mods, I mean, that has weather, I think, right? Correct me if I'm wrong there. So it has, like, rain that happens every once in a while, which is really cool adds to the ambience, the ambiance of the area. Uh, I also like the the Sierra Madre in the villa. The villa is really cool, but it is confusing to navigate. <laughs> We're actually going to stop by Cliff Briscoe's here really quick and see if we can uh, sell a couple things that we picked up. Oh, hello, Cliff. Doing? I'm not going to buy any, any of your dinosaurs. Here, you can, you can have that back. I don't want that. You want this too? Here you go. Here you go. Look at these reports. These look like it's some pretty important reports. Is this is this how your store's been? Whoops. Is that how your store's been doing? It looks like it's it's been fluctuating pretty bad. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Come back soon now. All right. Bought ourselves some 12 gauge ammo. I know we have a tw 20 gauge shotgun, but I believe I can break it down to uh, turn it into 20 gauge. So I think that's what we're gonna try.